Okay, so I am working through my keyframes. I built, I'm dividing and organizing my assets. I've got a lot of them, but now I'm kind of going through and I'm still trying to build this very first expression. And I'm running into some difficulty because I'm just not happy with the eyes that I'm drawing, all of that. Like I, I have a few different versions and I might be able to use these expressions, but I'm not happy yet. And one of the problems is when you use vector shapes, which emojis do, they can look very, very clean, especially at low resolutions. And so when I draw with my lasso, it just looks not very smooth. So there are a few uh, tools for this. One is the brush tool. And we've never used the brush tool before, but this is our introduction to it. If you use the brush, which is right above the clone stamp, you can make it pressure sensitive for your tablet. So I'm using my, my Wacom tablet here. And I'm gonna make it 100% opaque, and I'm gonna use just the standard second brush in the pack here. It's called a hard round. So I'm gonna leave it at 100% round, or 100% hardness, and I'm gonna do a size, yeah, I can do 15 pixels, that's fine. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. But then I'm gonna set it to be pressure sensitive. And then I'm gonna choose the color by holding down option and clicking on a color I've already have open in Photoshop I wanna match. Right? And then I can just draw, right? And get the shape and kind of paint it in. But here is the, the tool that's really helpful. There's this smoothness option on the tool. So if I set smoothness to really high, like 80%, that means, unlike with the lasso, when I paint now, it's gonna force it to be cleaner. Is it gonna be as clean as vector shapes? No, but it's gonna be a lot cleaner than my freehand, right? So this is our introduction to uh, to creating our own pixels and having that ability as part of this animation project. So I'm just gonna to try to make some eyes. You're gonna see a slight delay when you draw because it's actively smoothing it before it shows you the pixels. And now I've created an eye shape that I think I can use. So I'm gonna take that one, I'm gonna duplicate it onto its own layer, delete these other eyes, Come on. And turn this into my, my new met eye. So there it is, a nice default eye. Going to duplicate it, going to command or option command T it. I'm going to flip it horizontally. I'm going to move it equidistant, you know, fairly symmetrically, place it. And then I'm going to merge these two layers together. These are my command E. These are my met eyes. So this, this is what I want for my first frame kind of inspired by this, but I think more interesting than this. Right. So I now have my first frame. I have all these assets, but I only have the layers turned on that I want turned on for my first frame. So what do I do? I make sure it's saved as assignment three assets. And I double check that it's saved. There it is, right? Now what I'm going to do is I have to create my film strip, my stage file. To do that, I'm gonna create a new file within PhotoP, and this new file is gonna be the exact same resolution. And I'm instead of new project, I'm gonna call it Carl Assignment 3. So this is our first project that uses two Photoshop files instead of just one. And this is my stage, I'll do it all capitals, my stage file. It's going to be eight inches by eight inches by 100 pixels per inch, or to put it another way, 800 by 800 pixels.
Stage. Like ready for the stage, ready to put on a show. So it gives me this white pixel grid. It's the exact same size as this one. If I hit Command O, it should center them both. Right? Now I need to get this frame, flatten it all into one image, and then move it onto my stage. So this is what I'm going to be doing a ton of in animating. Moving your assets to your stage. So this is how it works. No matter what layers you have turned on, I don't have any book layers turned on yet. You have to go to your top most visible layer or group. So for me, it's the meh right there. Then you're going to select every layer underneath it by holding down shift. Select them all. When they're all selected, you're going to hold down option, then go to layer and say merge layers. It shouldn't take this long. There we go. What that does is it makes one combined layer here of everything from the top down. So now it's all in one layer. That allows me to select it all. I do that by going to select all or a shortcut command A. Then it allows me to copy it all, which I can do with command C or edit copy. And then I can move to my stage and then I go to Edit, Paste, or Command V to get my first piece of film printed into my animation. Why do I do that? It's so that I can create a sequence that I can do animation tests on, and then my finished animation on. So once I go back to my assets, notice I held down Option while I merged those selected layers, so it didn't erase all of these, so it's non-destructive. But I do need to hit Command-D to deselect, and then to delete this merged layer. And then I need to set up my next frame. And my next frame is going to be very simple. It's going to be my first book image starting to come down. So the corner of the book is there. And... I'm going to toggle between meh1 and meh2. And if that's too much of a change, I'm going to change meh2 by just duplicating this folder into a copy, turning off the first one, and then just warping these a little bit, changing these a little bit. And I mean a little bit, because I just want to be able to toggle back and forth to kind of show a bored expression. I'm just going to move the eyes that much. I'm just going to move the mouth. Just the slightest amount. So there's some change to it. Okay, now... My topmost layer that's visible is all the way up at the book because of that little corner. So now I hold down Shift. I select everything from there underneath. Only the layers I want visible are turned on. I hold down Option and I say Layer, Merge Layers. I get that combined layer at the top. I say Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, click on the stage, Command V to paste it in. So now I have my first two animation layers. And I can toggle back and forth with the eyeball. Next, go back. Hit Command-D to deselect, and then delete that merged layer. Now I set up my next frame, which the book is going to move down a little bit more. And now, I was hoping I could just toggle between the mez. But I think I need to make another copy of the meh and have meh3. <laughs> so meh3, this is just because I'm really picky. But I'm going to swap the eyes horizontally. And then the mouth. 
just the slightest change. And I'll call this MET3. So I have MET1, MET2, and MET3. And that's, that's the most I want to play with these MET expressions, just while that book is falling down. So I'm just going to cycle through the three of them. Okay, at any time I can toggle between my stage and see my last frame and now this new frame that I'm setting up. And I'm going to put guides around this as well. Because the hardest thing in animation is to line up your frames. So this is the way to guarantee it. You fill up the entire 800 pixel square and you copy and paste into it. That means you'll never have to like set them into place. All right, now I go again to the topmost visible layer, hold down shift, select everything from the top to the backdrop, right? Then hold down option, say layer, merge layers. At the very top, I get that merged layer. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, go to my stage, Command V to paste it in. Now I have three frames of animation. I'm still in the in-betweens between keyframe one and keyframe two. But I'm getting closer to keyframe two. Almost there. What do I need to do? I need to deselect this and then delete it, that merged layer. And Photoshop's slowing down on me, so I'm gonna hit, or Photo P, so I'm gonna hit Command S. I'm gonna close any programs I don't need open. And I'm gonna set up my next frame. This is the next book going down. And now, instead of having to build a new meh layer for the expression, I'm just going to turn this one off and turn meh2 back on. Right? I can see what that looks like. It's a change from this to this. And then go to my topmost layer, hold down shift, select all layers, hold down option, layer, merge layers. Do, do, do. You'll see it merged at the top. That's like Tim Burton taking the picture of the full set with the creatures on it, putting it into the camera, right? Then I copy it and print it to the film by pasting it into the stage. Now I have four frames of animation. All flattened together. And you'll notice the expression on layer 4 and layer 2 are identical. But they won't feel like that when it's animated because they're moving through a different expression. And if PhotoP could keep up with me, you could see that. All right. Save it to the desktop. That is my stage file. So you need to have an assets file and a stage file. They're both important for this project. And that's how we start to actively animate. Deselect, delete the merged one. It kind of shows you all the assets you used in the right order. Move the book down. Now I'm going to switch to MET1, just cycling between these three expressions. Then I do the same thing again. Hold down Shift, select everything all the way down to the backdrop. Hold down Option while I hit Layer, Merge Layers. If you don't hold down Option, like I won't this time, and I just do the shortcut Command-E or I just click Merge Layers, it will flatten it all into one image. And that's okay. I can say Command-A, copy, paste it to my stage, but it's dangerous because then to get back to building it, I have to go back in my history to before I merge the layers. And that seems a lot more dangerous than holding down option while you do it and then just deleting the merge layer when you're done. Does that make sense? All right. So this is how I want you to think of it conceptually. You're selecting them all. You only have the ones visible that you want. You hold down option and then go to layer merge layers. And because you held down option, it's going to make that merge layer on top of all of your existing layers. That's like taking the picture in your digital camera and now